right guys so obviously from that little video clip you just saw uh, I got a new rig and I am super excited about it if you guys have been following my social media over the last month or so you understand that uh, I've kind of fallen in love with the um, Mercedes-Benz G-Wagons and they are just absolute beasts off-road um, from what I understand from a lot of things I've been reading uh, from the factory triple locked center diff front and rear uh, diffs locked from the factory and these things are just one solid piece of, of awesomeness um, so anyway I wanted I'm going to do a proper walk around video at some point in the future but I just wanted to give you a quick preview of the new um, 1992 350 GD Mercedes-Benz Galanda Wagon there she is boys and girls so let me flip the camera around and I'll give you a good tour real quick all right so it is finished in what Mercedes-Benz called spruce green wasn't really looking for this color but um, I kind of like it it's you know I like green obviously uh, you can tell from my Jeep so this will be a cool color everything on this truck is factory complete factory. it's like a time capsule uh, the paint is in pretty good shape for it being a 28 year old truck um, there's a few scratches here and there and a couple little dings and the paints you know a little oxidized in some place some places but really not that bad at all um, probably hard to tell out in the sunlight but I mean all in all this thing is amazing so one thing that's not factory actually I had them swap out the um, the headlights for LEDs but that's the only thing uh, one thing I love about these Mercedes just the front end is just incredible I love the way they look and then check out I love they call it the mighty Mercedes tow pin look at that thing it's awesome nice recovery point so that's it we'll walk around here I'll show you a couple things real quick picked it up last night actually it got delivered to me last night just loving this thing so solid it rides so good compared to the Jeep I'm not gonna lie so that's a walk around let's show you the interior a little bit and I said it's a 350 GD the D stands for diesel so yes it's a diesel I've wanted a diesel for a while listen to these doors this is what people usually geek out on the on these g-wagons the clicking sound so there's the interior really nice condition for for a 92 guys this thing's in really nice shape you know it's got some it's got a little bit of wear and tear but overall I mean the seats are in nice condition it's got a little wood grain in it I, I didn't want anything real fancy one thing I like about these 92s is there's no computer system in them. It's all um, relays and solenoids. So not a lot to go wrong on them. Not as much to worry with water crossings and computers getting fried and things like that. There's the dash. There's the three diff locks. This thing's going to be a beast. It's going to be a billy goat. fire extinguisher comes factory check out these storage boxes this thing's utilitarian mercedes-benz g-wagons are known for being luxurious but underneath all that luxury these things are utilitarian and awesome they're made for the off-road people just usually don't use them that way each seat has a storage cubby like that rear seats great shape you guys got to remember this is a 28 year old truck it's amazing it's in this good of condition these seats fold down and they're about this high but then they also fold forward and it gives you a lot of um, storage room in the rear let's open this up there's a the rear cargo area might be kind of hard to see it might be a little bit of a glare um, Try to get in here a little bit so you know obviously it's got a few things from its age but all in all amazing shape like i said these seats fold forward 
giving this a ton of space back here. All right, guys, so that's my new to me 1992 350 GD Mercedes Benz Wagon. Super excited to get this thing built up. So, no, we're not leaving it factory. This is going to be an overland vehicle. Um, so, just a couple things off the top of my head I'm going, I've got plans for. Um, first thing, getting a roo, uh, front runner roof rack. I'm going to put my existing GFC uh, tent and Darchi 270 Eclipse awning on here. Uh, I've got a lift kit already ordered for it. Old Man Emu Springs and Coney Raid Shocks. And it should give it about a two inch lift. A um, couple other little mods. So a rear um, front runner drawer system, uh, maybe some uh, fuel storage, extra fuel storage, uh, maybe some wheels. I'm not sure yet on the wheels. I really want um, these uh, bead locks. They're called Hutchinson bead locks. They're freaking amazing wheels. They're really, really expensive. You can look them up if you want to. Um, I'm considering getting those and it would just really set the thing off. Uh, problem is they're, they're on back order until um, January of next year. So still trying to figure some things out. Uh, I'm blacking out the grill uh, and the headlight surrounds here. Um, I'm getting brush guards for the turn signal indicators, headlights, and the rear taillights. So I got some things in mind that I'm gonna do for it, but uh, it's gonna be a journey and I hope you guys follow along. Um, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to watch the progress of this build. I'm super excited, guys. See you next time.